What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to rank every Sheikah rune in Breath of the Wild, so let's get into the video. And last place on my list is the Photography rune. This rune is my least favorite because it's pretty much useless besides the fact of documenting all the monsters and weapons and animals around Hyrule. This actually can be quite useful because you can look at the stats of what monsters drop, but let's be honest, who has actually used this? And then also the last use is the Sheikah Detector. This ability lets you know how far out you are away from an item that you have documented in the Hyrule Compendium to help you find it, but it is pretty much useless when not set to shrines. In sixth place, I have the Amiibo Rune. This rune allows you to scan an Amiibo onto your console, and then boom, a chest and a couple of items appear. This rune can be pretty useful because it can give you new outfits, but a major flaw is that you actually have to buy Amiibos if you want this rune to work. In fifth place, I have the Magnesis Rune. This rune allows you to pick up and move metal objects. Now, while this can be cool at first to do some puzzles and drop metal boxes on enemies, which can be useful early game, besides that, it's pretty much useless. In fourth place, I have the Cryonis rune. This rune allows you to build ice pillars in the water, but this rune needs water to work. And it can be super useful because normally when swimming, you have to watch your stamina, but with the ice pillars, you could just make new ones and jump onto them, making it extremely useful for crossing water. In third place, I have the Stasis Rune. This rune allows you to pause objects and eventually when you upgrade it, enemies. This is one of the best runes for three reasons. One, pausing enemies. This allows you to freeze an enemy in their tracks and get a couple of free hits on them. Also, this rune is very useful because it highlights all of the possible objects and this rune is useful for finding enemies and weapons in the forests. And then the last reason is that you can freeze an object and then hit it while it is frozen, then you can get on it, and this allows for tra fast transportation. In second place, I have the Master Cycle. This rune allows you to teleport Link's motorcycle in front of you, and the Master Cycle is one of the fastest, most reliable forms of transportation. Also, it is very fun to use because you can do wheelies and jumps on the Master Cycle, but one of the biggest flaws of it is that it requires fuel to ride, and that is it, it is in DLC and you have to complete the DLC and all of the Divine Beasts, but it's worth it. The best rune in Breath of the Wild is the Bomb Rune. This rune is super powerful because you can use bombs for a lot of things, like killing weak enemies to save on weapon durability, but we all know the main reason that this rune is in number one, and it is because it glitches like wind bombing and bow lifts smuggle slide. These are some of the best ways to travel just because of how fast they are. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and if you want, comment your favorite rune. See you later. This is Rockman Ronnie.